Hello everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here, people champion and strategist with the 99th episode of Coffee with Jody. And today I want to share with you some thoughts going back down memory lane as we celebrate the Hispanic Heritage Month. When I was growing up here in Miami, I remember the Marielle boat lift. It happened in a very short window between April 15th and October 31st in 1980. I was 22 years old. And, oh, that tells you how old I am. There you go. <laughs> That's all good. Anyway, I remember that actually taking place. And the influx of the number of people who came into Florida at that time was 125,000 Cubans into Miami. Now, I remember the before and after. And what I will share with you about that is that the Cubans have actually made Miami into what it is today. And it is a diverse, inclusive, rich environment where we might go down into Little Havana and find people that don't speak any English, or we might go down into a, a restaurant in Coral Gables that is the best Cuban food you can find anywhere and everything in between. I love Miami. And yes, Miami changed after this influx. However, I believe that the influx of Hispanics and Latinos into Miami has made it a much richer environment than it was when I was a little girl and it was a sleepy little town. So what is it that's so important about celebrating the Hispanic Heritage Month? Part of what people need is to experience the, the root of the culture that they come from. That's how they know themselves, whether they're African-American, uh, Norwegian or Hispanic and sometimes gringos like me can lump all of that into you know one batch if you will however people from Nicaragua are very very different from people from Honduras or people from Cuba or from Spain or from Mexico and yet there's a common denominator that Hispanics share of passion of, of a joy for living of uh, great Hispanic and spicy foods, Cuban coffee, which I've come to absolutely love. And the, the depth of that diversity is an important component of what makes this country great. You know, the only natives that were here were the Indians. You know, even myself coming in as a white Anglo-American have European descent. I don't know exactly from where, but we all came from somewhere else. And that's what makes America great, the diversity that we have. So the celebration of the contributions of Hispanics to our, our country, to the workforce, which is 57% of the workforce in America in 2020 were of Hispanic and Latino descent, 18 Almost 19% of people in the United States are Hispanic or Latin descent. I mean, this is a significant portion of the people in our workforce and in our, and in our country. When we talk about diversity and inclusion, this is a factor that thus as business leaders must take into account, embracing the richness of the Hispanic contribution and celebrating that. Coming back to the Marielle Boatlift, the, um, there was a wonderful book that was written called The Perez Family by Christine Bell. It came out in 1990, so 10 years after uh, the Marielle Boatlift. And I think it was probably one of the funniest books I ever read. I would be reading it alone and laughing out loud. They turned it into a fantastic movie with Marissa Tomei and Angelica Houston on a, a gentleman who was released from prison in Cuba and comes over uh, on a boat and looks for his wife 
whose name was Maria Perez. It was just absolutely hilarious, if you know how many Perez's there are in the phone book. But it was a, a delightful and moving book and movie that I highly encourage you to read, uh, to get a sense of what it was that people went through. When you stop and think about the, the trials and the hardships that people who have come from other countries into our country, whether they were of Irish descent, Mexican, Cuban, or from anywhere uh, in the Caribbean, Central and South America, it can only move you to compassion. So let's celebrate the diversity of the Hispanic contribution to our communities, to our country, and most importantly, to our businesses. And with that, if you enjoyed this short little walk down memory lane, please like it, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to find out more about diversity, inclusion, employee engagement, celebrating the contributions of people into, in the workforce, and really what it is to be a people champion, I invite you to schedule a discovery call with me on the calendar link below. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. That's it for today. Bye for now.